Hey -o, it's Omnidog here from Omnidog's Vault. And I am here to tell you about the series The Sixth Gun by Cullen Bunn. And uh, it is fantastic. Uh, I have it in the Gunslinger editions, which are these huge books. You don't need to get these to enjoy it. Uh, the trades are fine. Uh, there's deluxes that are available that are also fine. These gunslingers, uh, some of them are out of print, so don't feel like you have to get these to enjoy it. Deluxes are fine and trades are fine because the story is what matters most. So I can't give you exact details about the exact story because that'll give away too much. There's six of these huge books, though, so that tells you there's a lot of story going on. I can give you the gist of it and then my impressions which is what i'll do it's a supernatural western and the first book <laughs> is really cool it's in this case that opens like a coffin and there's the main he's on the book that's general hume he was chained up and put into holy ground in an abbey in the middle of the desert or uh, a place where monks are all uh, a monastery type thing. And his men, this is, takes place during the, after the civil war, his men are um, trying to reunite him with all six guns because he and his men had all six guns at one point. And what are the six guns? I'll tell you in just a sec. Um, it starts out with Becky on a farm, her, her stepfather passes away and gifts, gifts her a gun. Uh, and uh, from her dying father, the gun binds itself to her. And in this gun, uh, all six guns have magical properties. This one, uh, besides never running out of ammo, can tell the future. Um, the four horsemen who rode with the general want the guns back and they want to rescue the general. There's a guy named Drake Sinclair. He may or may not be a good guy. We're not sure. Pretty sure he's a good guy. I think he's a reformed bad guy is what he is. He's in Becky's life almost from the beginning. And he's after him too. He wants the six guns. Put all the six guns together and they unlock something. I'm not going to tell you what because that would spoil it. But there are a wild amount of people after these six guns, including the general's mother who has turned into this snake woman and has these snake cowboys as her servants that are uh, vicious um I don't know if they're undead or alive or what, but they're these vicious cowboys and they're all rep reptilian. Um, let me read you real quick what all six guns do. And then I'll show you some art. The first gun strikes with the force of a cannon shell. The second gun expels the very flames of perdition. The third gun spreads a flesh rotting disease. The fourth gun calls up the spirits of the men and women it is shot down. The fifth gun grants eternal youth and the ability to heal from even a fatal wound. The general's wife has that during most of the book. And the sixth gun speaks to its wielder, wielder revealing the past and future. So here is some of the art. And it is beautiful by Brian Hurt. And I'll give you a gander at this. Uh, you've got all kinds of demons in this. You've got um, all kinds of giant birds uh, like um, you've never seen before. There's a uh, crossroads in the middle of a swamp that's got a special demon of its own that Drake Sinclair has to find and bypass to find um, a sorcerer that is locked away in a house of his own waiting out his days but he needs the help of the sorcerer um this book is amazing it is um i i, I can't I, it feels like 
uh, there must have been string all over the place on Cullen Bunn's wall as he kept track of where everything was going. But it all makes sense and it all leads to um, a, an excellent ending. It has a great beginning, middle, and end. And as you can see, there's lots of ghouls, lots of the undead, lots of spells being cast. And um, there are a wide variety of people with their own agendas for wanting their uh, for wanting the guns, for wanting revenge, uh, for wanting power, for wanting just to be left alone. Everybody's got their own agenda in the book. And so this is some of the art and I'll pull out some more art. Uh, that was volume five. This is volume three. And look at the beautiful slipcase this came in. This is really beautiful. This is volume three. And this is Becky that it's showing who wields the sixth gun that everybody wants so badly. Put them all together, something happens. Not all by itself. It needs something else. Now here's where the book gets really good is that in its world building, it introduces a number of people that are cl either close to Drake, Sinclair, and Becky, or they work with them uh, with the purpose of trying to find the six guns. They even end up in a frost world uh, that's a demonic frost world, and, and that's pretty amazing. And to show you how good of a book it is, not only do you grow close to these characters, but if something happens to one of these characters, you really care. It affects you. So I think that's one of the main testaments to um, Cullen Bunn's genius in this book is that you care about the characters um, enough so that what happens to them really affects you. So this is a big old supernatural weird western ride through the old west with with monsters and here's some of the snake cowboys snake cowboys demons uh you've got an you've got a couple of native americans one of whom wears um the dead skull of uh, a, pos a possessed dead skull that speaks through her which is really cool and um, so <laughs> I don't know. And, and the six guns have been various things throughout time. They started out as clubs. Then in medieval times, they were special swords, but they've always had the ability to, to accomplish this one thing. Um, and you'll have to read the book to find out what that one thing is. Um, but let me show you... Um, let me show you a little bit more artwork from this book. Uh, Brian Hurt does a great job with the art. Colin Bunn does a great job with the world building and the characters. I don't know. Characters you care about and stories that are well written. You can't get much better than this. Um, and art that is really arresting. So this book... Gets a five out of five from me. The whole series gets a five out of five from me. Ten out of ten. Whatever. Twenty out of twenty. I love it. I love the sixth gun. And you will too. Every book is packed with extra stuff going on. Extra adventures for Sinclair and Becky to go on. They get separated at certain points. They've got to rely on each other to find each other. They've got to rely on their allies. They, they're constantly escaping trouble. Um, you really need to do yourself a favor and read Sixth Gun. And just get the trades. That's cool. You don't need to go you know, crazy and get the Gunslinger editions. But the deluxes are nice too. So, my advice to you is get the Sixth gun if you want a well-written supernatural story of the old west 
It is wonderful, and I uh, love it to the point that I'm never getting rid of the books because I'm going to want to reread it. That's the key to me these days is, am I going to reread it? And the answer is yes. So go out, gets two thumbs up, all the stars, everything. I love Sixth Gun by uh, Brian Hurt and the writer Colin Bunn. So peace and love, peace and love. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you for watching.